Many skeptics, and especially Jesus mythers, say that Jesus was a copy of Tammuz. If you know Jesus' story, you'll start to see some similarities. Tammuz was born in Bethlehem. He wore a crown of thorns which was made of myrrh. He was called a healer. He was sacrificed annually. He was resurrected from the dead. He was called a shepherd. He was called the savior of the world. He was called the anointed one. And he was called the begotten son. This is a big problem for Christians, or it would be a problem for Christians if most of it wasn't false. There is no evidence Tammuz was born in Bethlehem. There is also no evidence he wore a crown or that it was made of myrrh. Tammuz was called a healer, but there is no way this can be compared to Jesus. The evidence points to Jesus being a real person that others really called a healer because he actually did heal people. Tammuz, in the pagan myths that mention him, is sacrificed each year to bring about good harvests, meaning that all life essentially was viewed as depending on Tammuz. It's for this reason that he's called a healer. Though Tammuz was sacrificed annually, no reasonable person is going to look at this account and think of Jesus. There is no way to connect these two. Jesus was sacrificed once for all, and Tammuz was said to be sacrificed each and every year, and none of the sacrifices had to do with atonement for sin. From the book Tammuz and Ishtar, more important is the doctrine that held Tammuz to be a god of healing and bestower of health. In this doctrine, there seems to be no reference to immortality or deliverance from eternal sleep in Sheol. The Babylonians had no such hope. He is called the healer only in the sense that all life depended upon his sacrifice and especially upon his return from hell. Tammuz was resurrected only in the sense that the crop seasons would come around again and spring was seen as the rebirth period of him. There is again no reason to think that this has any parallel to Jesus' resurrection. Tammuz is also known as Demuzi, and in Mark Smith's book, The Origins of Biblical Monotheism, he writes, Demuzi's resurrection has been long denied, but a fragment at the end of Inanna's Descent of the Underworld has given new life to this view of Demuzi. The crucial line reads, You, Demuzi, half the year. Your sister, Geshtinana, half the year. Despite the line's fragmentary context, S.N. Kramer concedes the point in 1966. On realizing that as a shepherd god, his presence is needed on earth in order to ensure the fecundity of the flocks, she, Inanna, decreed that he stay in the netherworld only half the year, and that his doting sister Geshtinana take his place the other half. Mark Smith isn't someone who's particularly partial to biblical monotheism, but even he rejects this alleged connection. Tammuz was literally a shepherd, so it makes sense that he was called one. Jesus was a shepherd in a metaphorical or spiritual sense. He is the shepherd of all his people. These are not related. Tammuz was a sort of savior, but he was only said to save people from starvation through his death. Jesus' sacrifice saves people from spiritual death. There is no evidence he was called the Anointed One. He was not called the Begotten Son, but instead the Faithful Son. Besides, the meaning of only begotten son in the Bible is probably better understood as unique son, meaning that of all the beings in the Bible called sons of God, whether they be humans, spiritual beings, or Jesus, he is the only one who's God in essence. He's species unique. This is totally unrelated to Tammuz. After looking at the evidence behind these claims, it's clear that there is no real link between the accounts of Tammuz and Jesus. Therefore, it's clear that Jesus is not a copy of Tammuz.